hey guys welcome to my channel or oh, welcome back to my channel my name is denisha sadin and if you are new welcome to my corner on the internet so in today's video i will be telling you guys some tips some tricks in gaining very long strong and healthy emphasis on the healthy hair if you guys don't know already i have been natural completely like all uh, my relax and is gone kapish kaboom um for about four years this coming june july can't even remember at the moment is my natural hair anniversary um so I decided why not share with you guys some of the things that I have learned over my four years of being completely natural. And these things will help you retain length. The first thing is to make sure, make sure you have a hair regimen. Please, please make sure you have a hair regimen because just like your skin just like you going to school once you have a routine you're gonna do that's at school your skin is going to flourish just like your hair so once you know your hair routine okay this week i'm going to shampoo or every two weeks i'm going to shampoo condition deep condition then style and in between those two weeks, I'm going to co-wash or whatever. By the way, that is not my routine. Um, in the future, I'll share with you guys my natural hair routine, my step-to-step, -step, every wash day routine. So make sure you have your routine down pat because that would definitely help you guys out. The next thing is to make sure that you are clarifying your scalp whether that be weekly or bi-weekly or monthly again you have to know what your hair requires your routine because some people wash their hair every five days every seven days every two weeks once per month once per three months personally i wouldn't do that but you gotta know your hair and the reason why you need to clarify your hair is because you are using products every week every couple of days you are going to experience a build up on your scalp and if you do not take that build up off of your scalp you are going to clog your scalp and that's where your hair grows from if it's clogged and dirty your hair is not going to grow properly so make sure you clarify your hair, whether that be with a shampoo, apple cider vinegar, or a bentonite clay mask. Make sure you clarify your hair. Make sure you oil your scalp. Oil, 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 oil your scalp. Unless you have allergic reactions to certain type of oils, then you stay away from oils, okay? But if your hair accepts the oil why not use it different type of oils promote hair growth makes your hair look shiny they moisturize your hair some of the oils that i think really helps with hair growth is number one jamaican black castor oil i'm pretty sure you've heard of this oil a million and one times especially if you watch videos like this tea tree oil that also helps with dandruff and hair growth peppermint oil same thing there is jojoba oil there is olive almond all different type of oils it just depends on your hair needs and your wants but i prefer to make my own oil mixture with just not one oil but with multiple oils sometimes i do use my peppermint oil alone but i love here using my 
hair mixture with oils which i do have a video on that on my channel so if you want you could go ahead and check that video out it would be linked in the description down below my next hair growth tip is to drink water drink water i mean that might not sound like as scientific as saying use this type of oil so you can get this type of result but honey water makes your hair happy and it does help enhance hair growth once you take care of what's on the inside guess what's gonna happen your outside will follow so drinking your water on a daily basis it helps hydrate your body your skin your hair and it even helps with your nails so make sure you drink your water please do not go days without drinking at least three to five cups of water do not do that because that is uh -uh. that ain't right like we're supposed to actually be drinking like eight glasses of water a day and imagine just drinking three the next tip would be protective styling and when i say protective styling i'm not just talking about weaves wigs and braids i'm actually talking about protective styling with your own hair yes the braids will help yes the wigs will help weaves not so much unless it's like a curly or uh, some type of textured weave that will match your hair type but protective styling with your own hair i'm a person i hardly wear braids um i don't own any wigs i've never put in a weave and my hair is flourishing obviously you gotta use what works for you but sometimes i think it's important to use your natural hair Sometimes it's good to let your hair breathe, take out those braids, put in some mini twists, do some natural braids with your own hair. Like your hair needs the sunlight, it needs some air. You can wear your braids, your wigs and stuff like that, but please give your hair a break from those stuff and use your natural hair. It would enhance the growth, trust me. My next tip would be to be patient be 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 patient and do not get overjoyed or overwhelmed with oh my gosh i need to let my hair grow in i need to do this that the third the fourth the fifth i need to do rice water every week i need to use an aloe vera mask every week i need to do this that blah 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 like no relax be patient yes take care of your hair try those things out if you want to but please do not go overboard with oh i need to do this that the third that could actually damage your hair just take care of it to be patient and the goal will follow so i didn't mention this in the beginning of this video but i'll be doing a length check in this video for you guys just a quick you know length check because I've never shown you guys like my hair like stretched out. I really want to blow dry it, but the line takes too long. So that's why I'm not doing that. So let me just do a like 360. I have no clue how the back of my head looks because yeah. I'm gonna the right hair. I have to do this and then do this. Um, my hair is so in the front, it's almost at my belly button. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and that you take something away from this video. Please remember to be patient with your hair. Once you nurture it and take care of it, it will 
flourish thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video please have a beautiful